At this time of year, paddlefish are making their spawning migration from Lake Sakakawea up the Missouri and Yellowstone rivers. It's a good time for fisheries biologists to set nets for capturing and tagging these unique fish. Basically float a uh, net down the river and chase the net and we take the paddlefish out of the out of the net as they swim into it. Um, and we take a length from the eye of the paddlefish to the fork of the tail and we take a weight and we put the tag in the fish and let it go. What's the importance of tagging paddlefish right before the season starts? Tagging paddlefish uh, helps us get a little better handle on the population, gets us some uh, population estimates, tells us a lot about the fish, their seasonal migrations, their spawning frequency, uh, gives us a better idea of angler exploitation. Slominski says since 1993 more than 10,000 paddlefish were tagged in North Dakota and the question is how many of those fish were ever caught again? From the 10,000 paddlefish that we have tagged we have return data on about 3,000 of those fish. Uh, some of those fish were harvested, uh, some of those fish were released, some of those fish were fish that we've netted doing our annual work. With the goal of tagging 300 paddlefish before the season starts, water levels play an important role in reaching that goal. We definitely catch a lot more when the flows are lower. Uh, this year we're a lot of flow coming down the river, uh, kind of a late spring, a lot of runoff coming from Montana. And our nets typically aren't very effective in, under these high flow conditions. Paddlefish are a long-lived fish. Biologists age fish that are over 50 years old every year. So if you plan to go paddlefish fishing on a snag and release day, there are proper ways to handle the fish. We don't recommend any anglers to do any vertical holds on these paddlefish. Try to do some horizontal holds. Don't take them out of the water longer than they need to be. Uh, don't do any, any damage to the gills. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.